Good evening, everybody. Welcome to stream. Uh, it is lovely to have you here. Nobu and Sabs and Josh and Trum and any lurkers. Happy Wednesday and happy time to cry day. Because while I haven't seen the finale to this game, I've seen the rest of the game. And and I, I think time to cry is is what's going to happen. Um uh, by the way, the reason I'm confident it's the finale is that I did look at I, I just looked at the wiki to see if there are any spirits I've missed. I have missed no spirits. Um there's just a, a handful of things that still need to be done before we are complete. We've even finished the ship. We have the biggest ship, though we don't need it. We have the fastest ship, though we don't need it. I think we've even finished all of the shenanigans. The only thing we haven't finished is collections, and that's just that's just not going to happen. Is it possible? Yes. Am I going to spend my time doing it? No. So there we go. Um... But yes, it is time to grab your tissues. Maybe, maybe something fluffy to hug onto. Because I do think this is going to be an emotionally devastating experience. Request completed, 96%. Last time, we got to know Daria, who was absolutely wonderful, but her time also came to an end, and Daria asked us to take her through the Everglades. And having done that, the only thing left to do on Daria's questline is to collect her spirit flower. Suddenly, all the things we've worked so hard to do you realize that even these things end. Things that seemed like they were eternal. Your ship and all the time you've spent improving it. None of these things lasts forever. That doesn't mean that those things weren't worthwhile. Those things remain worthwhile, so long as you keep in mind the reason you're doing them. And in this case, the reason we were doing them was to help people. That's never a bad thing. Hello, Paula. I don't think helping people is unacceptable, but you know, you do you, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the dude sounds. <laughs> Me trying to be profound. <laughs> and then the sound commands happened. <laughs> It's a very good line, very well delivered. Um, but yes, welcome, Paula. Chat, did you know Paula is a good bean? It's true.
So that is a new thing that Twitch has introduced, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like. You have been to, I think, at least three, but I'm not sure the exact number, of uh, three consecutive streams. It's a way to let you know that you're a regular. That is very much appreciated. You're just like a healthy bowel movement. Regular. This hospital looks so nice now. Like, I know that's the point of Daria's whole quest line, but oh my lord, it looks It's not inside. has a quest for me? That catches me off guard. Hello. I heard some loud clangs coming from the deck last night. Are you working on a secret project? No? Well, you should probably look around the boat. Something might be broken. Guys, I... Now, I don't mean to alarm anybody. But I think Jackie might be on the boat. Now, I, I just have an intuition for these things. Oh. What the? Oh, Stella. Um. It's, um, you see. It's not what it looks like. I was, um. I was. Oh, heck. Yeah, I'm living here. I didn't have anywhere else to go. I certainly can't go back to that crappy hospital. It's a very nice hospital now. If you wanted to go back, but I know you don't. Hmm. Not after what happened with Daria. So I sneaked in and this place seemed empty, so I figured it wouldn't hurt anyone. What? It's your friend's house? Well, how was I supposed to know that? But anyway, she's not even using it. I bet she's on some fancy vacation, right? Ah! Not entirely. Just lounging around in one of her 50 villas. Some people have everything, while well, us mooks have nothing. So you know what? If she wants her house back, she'll just have to kick me out herself. I like that the music is just slightly out of time. Yeah, that's it. I'll show her that. What? She's... Oh. Shit. I'm, I'm sorry, Stella. I didn't know. I'm talking too darn much again. I'll... Leave me a minute. I'll pack my stuff and get out of your way. I know when I'm not welcome. What? I can live here? You do that for me? Even after all I did? It's... I... Well, if you insist, I'll find some spot out of the way. And I really don't want to sleep in the streets again. Yeah, you'll see. I can pay you back by helping around the boat. 
Jackie's not a freeloader. I don't need your help. You need mine. Just, yeah, just like old times. And, you know, I... Thanks, uh, Stella. Thanks, Stella. Okay. Jackie is hungies. Do I know what he likes? I do not, but he dislikes healthy food. Um... Per hmm. Perhaps he would like a dessert. Perhaps he likes exotic food. Hey, he doesn't particularly like it, but he doesn't dislike it either. Okay, he does give good hugs. Oof, yeah. Needed that. I don't get nearly enough hugs. feeling that he's a fried chicken man. Interestingly, I'm now in a weird position of not really having much to do. Because of the fact that I have completed all of the quests, even the shenanigans, although I know for a fact there are still a few things I haven't unlocked. I just don't know how to. do a few of these. that dragon. He's nasty. I mean, as I said, I don't know why I'm even looking through things in uh, in particular, because there's nothing that needs doing. Which is an interesting position to be in after such a long journey. still playing Spectre Knight or have you moved on to King Knight?
How are you enjoying it? Uh, I never play King. Not enjoying it as much as Vector Knight. Yeah, you see, that's what I was kind of worried about. Because Spectre Knight is, frankly, spectacular. That's a bit disappointing. But I mean, I, I have it, but I haven't played it. Here, there's like a card game element to it, and that's pretty good. I mean, it's no triple triad, but it can still be okay. There is nothing you could have said to me to make me less interested. So thank you. Sliding block puzzles are just impossible for my brain. Please tell me the ones in Origami King are not mandatory, because if they're mandatory, then it turns out I'm never going to play them. need accessibility features and they need to include the most important people in that which is stupid people oh shit i didn't see this <gasps> filing cabinet tells you about the the passengers when almost lost a finger while living on a farm in indiana her favorite cigarette brand has always been red apple the night her mother died, she ate five buckets of popcorn to deal with the grief. Aww. Astrid makes a mean guacamole but hates eating it. Despite her vocal protestations, she loves hearing Giovanni snoring. Slapped a Nazi soldier with a cast iron skillet during the war. Hell yes, Astrid. Gustav doesn't understand the deal with Chablis. Really likes rugby, thinks the paradigm shift of postmodernist movements was a mistake. <laughs> Elena, might have eyes in the back of her head, hates when people drag their feet, saw the potential in you all along. Alice, her secret pie dough is actually store bought. Ah, <gasps> scandal. Likes one granddaughter more than the rest, but will never tell. Sometimes she dreams of Ansgar's strong arms. A tool. Caught a fish with his bare hands, 
awarded a participation award at a wood carving contest, sits down in the shower. Now, that's a fascinating one. Summer. Thinks citrine and quartz are different stones. Once mimicked the movements of a sunflower field for a whole day. Secretly thinks Rosa's family is weird. Jackie. Likes to boast about his foreign origins, but doesn't know much about his father's country. Often in his underwear because he runs hot. Has murky memories of his childhood. Oh, that probably means trauma, statistically. Not statistically, just what I've read. Bruce and Mickey. Thinks you don't need to know right now. Loves marble on everything. Says Mickey has never lost a fight. Beverly. Won second place at Chelsea's annual chili cook-off. Never forgets if someone has ever been mean to her. Only had one favorite neighbor in her life. And I believe that was Stella. Buck. Secretly thinks Demons and Ghouls second edition is better than the first. Has a fondness of Paul Bunyan. Can't help correcting people who say I could care less. Ah, uh, man after my own heart, Buck. Daria. Has chromesthesia or sound to color synesthesia. I heckin called it. Was extremely popular throughout her art academy. Wishes she wouldn't act up as much uh, when she gets visitors. Aw, so she knows she's being trouble. I love Daria. Giovanni splashes himself with other people's perfumes whenever he can. Had once stolen an ashtray that already belonged to him. <laughs> Knows almost all of Pablo Neruda's poems by heart. Stanley. Saw a squirrel once. Ate two breakfasts in a day once. Likes looking up at the stars at night. Ah, uh, Stanley remains too pure for this world. And Lily. Never turns down a drink. Afraid of the big unknown. Always there for her big sister. That was so cool. And I just came in here on a whim. So I wondered what the filing cabinet upgrade did. And then it turned out that it seemed to do nothing. I wonder if I can build a house for Jack. No, but there... Okay. There is one last house. So it seems like that's going to be a thing. Stella, this boat is bonkers. It's got so much shit. A kitchen. Individual houses. But not for me. I'm not a patient, remember? A mother blasting cow. Even a garden. What kind of boat has a garden? With real dirt. Where'd you get the dirt? Is it some kind of refuse? Is it... Oh, Stella. Do you... Do you grow your vegetables in our poop? What? I don't know how that shit works. Do I look like a farmer? Isn't dirt like poop and half-eaten worms? Eh, mostly not, but there's a little bit of that. Anyway, I've told you I could help around the boat, and the field has given me a genius idea. Follow me, alright? Uh, navigation giving you some trouble there, game? Hell yeah, Greg. Mm -hmm. Alright there. Uh, there we are. The field. Now hush, just for a minute. Listen. Shit, are all boats this noisy? Really worked better in my mind. You were supposed to hear how silent it was and then think, something's missing here. And I'd be all like, you're right, know what's missing? And you'd go, no, please tell me, Jackers. And then I'd say, bees! That's right, bees. You know, little furry critters. Eat flowers, make honey. But don't piss them off. They got a sword up their butts, literally. Maybe not literally, but anyway. So yeah, walking around the field, I thought about my grandfather. He was a kind man. Really, he pretty much raised me. You see, Daddy and Mommy weren't too much in the picture. Pappy Jackie, he had a little farm. Nothing fancy, but he had bees. Uh, they helped with the field, plus they gave us some honey. So that's how I want to contribute. Honey. Uh, honey would be great, wouldn't it? Alright, 
Get some paper out and listen up. Bees, they can't just sleep anywhere. They need a house. In the jargon, a bee house is called a hive. That's what it with an H. So you take some wood, some other stuff, and you just arrange it like so-and-so. Yeah, that looks good enough. Go ahead, build us a nice beehive or bee house, and I'll show you how to use it. Oh, yes. I am entirely about it. Dang it, I need a bunch of XP potions. Ooh, but Luther's literary review came in. So that also matters. Uh, presents the six of the crow's end in glass bounties. And remember, bright lights might not always be bright spots. I don't know what that means. Cow. I want to talk to Buck. I won't tell Hummy anything. Why did it take me almost three years to put panels beneath my stream? Uh, yes, the contest is still running. Oh, it's March! I must set up the vote. Thank you for the reminder, Greg. Stellar's great work. Such great work, actually, that the bees have already started living in their hive. Now remember, bees eat flowers. Well, at least they did at Gramps' place. Maybe they can eat some other stuff. Falafel honey? Yeah, I better not mess with the proud art of, of honey making. Anyway, there's a trick to keeping your bees happy. If you want them to give you honey, just make sure to keep some mature plants around the hive. Then the hive is, when the hive is nice and plump with honey, you, uh, just... Uh, get in there real good. And then you just swipe the sweet, sticky bounder super quick like. Got it? If you have any questions, just ask. Oh, and that makes me think of something else. You know me, I don't need much. I could pretty much sleep hmm. anywhere. But I've been thinking. You know, as your assistant, living in the same common area as the patients, well, it's a bad look, mm -hmm. ain't it? I really think you should build some kind of staff room. Nothing fancy, just somewhere to lay down after a shift. Four walls and a roof. Hmm. I'm not a guest here, after all. Anyway, just a thought. I hope you can get to it. See ya. Leave it to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> also, thank you, Trump. Uh... 
pine planks and cotton fabric. EZ, EZ. Let's build Jackie a house. So I wanted to pluck some plants. Wanting to, what's the word? Denigrate? That's a word, but I'm not sure it's the word. Oh, that one would say anything bad. Gold feels kind of meaningless at this point. Because none of what I'm doing will really benefit. But not in a bad game design sense, just in a melancholy sense. You actually did it, and it's, um, very. Yeah, well, it's pretty much exactly what I asked for, right? I guess I just didn't expect it all to be so drab. Not that I mind. You should have seen some of the places I've lived. In comparison, this looks like a five-star hotel. But, like, more boring. But in a good way. Boring like meditation or reading. Zen, is that a word? Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll be able to assist you much better with this little on-call room. Dang it if you aren't growing on me, Jackie. Oh! I cannot yet improve it. That's very interesting. Well, then what I can do is... Try to find the next treasure. Um, now, it talks about bright spots, which makes me think that one of these two islands might be a lighthouse. Um, but there are two islands, a larger one and a smaller one. Uh, separated by something. Uh, it could be a storm, could be... who knows. Um, so, so let's, let's try to figure this one out. It's definitely this. It's definitely this. Like, that's just too exact to not be it, right? Uh, and it's like very similar to where to where this is. Well that was quick. Thoughts on yogurt? Oh, 
Whoops. Good choice, Sabs. Yogurt is not just tasty, but also very good for you. And yeah, the guest house is now empty. to say something to me. Uh, you seem like a fun dude, man. very frustrated that that quest went away. Presumably it's because it's sleepy time. No, I don't want to do the bug thing. I just thought this is where the treasure was. confident that it's in this area. It matches too well. So... I don't know, a little bit north, a little bit south? Like here. -ish. the right place. Okay, it is much further south than I thought, but I'm sure this is the right spot. Or in general. more west than I currently am. Hmm? Oh, is this not it? around here somewhere. Uh, further this way? <sighs> okay. Okay, so I was right about the area. I was just off by a teeny tiny bit.
Uh, Electro machine, yeah, nothing fancy. There's still some stuff I haven't found. Let's check that out. Given the current situation, I think I'm actually just gonna... Oh, I can't sleep? Why can I not sleep? Also, what was that sound? Was that a honey sound? It was not. It was definitely a sound. the thing. Great hole! You really put the R in whole harshly. All ye lost treasures of Crow's Ending have been found. An empire can finally be put to rest thanks to your effort. And see! Wasn't that great? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Caspar Crayford wrote me a personalized note congratulating me for finding all the Crow's End Inc. treasures. He awarded me with the official title of Master Adventurer, since the magazine subscription was in my name. He thought I was the one finding all the treasures. Yeah, I know you did all the work, but it's not like I didn't already know where all the treasures were. Those clues were pretty easy. Sure, you went out, jumped in the water, got wet and all. Listen, I'll ask for another Master Adventurer. I'll say mine got lost in the mail. That always works. I'll even ask for a name change. So we'll both have one. Oh, Johnny Silverleg would be proud. Let me do that. Heck yeah. Buck acknowledges me as a Master Adventurer. What the hell? Stella, I, I, I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was these gosh darn little psycho critters. They just lashed out at me. Bunch of lunatics, I'm caring for y'all, all right? You'd be dead if I didn't care for you. I should just pump them all full of smoke and dump them off the boat. The little gosh darn, the, the, the bees. Shit, shit. I'm, I'm doing it again, aren't I? It's Daria all over mm -hmm. again. They're just bees. They can't do anything wrong. And Daria, she's... It's just Daria. I don't know why I get like that, Stella. Sometimes... Sometimes something happens. Anything. A big noise, someone says something I don't like, or has got an attitude, or has a bad attitude. And I just... I just get so overwhelming, it feels like I'm drowning. And I can't breathe, and I can't think. I just start seeing red. Then I barely remember what happened. I want to change, Stella. You gotta believe me, please. I just... I don't know how. I thought I could do it by myself, but obviously I... Yeah, I'm a chump, I know it. Jackie the loser. Don't think I haven't heard that one before. Can't do anything right. Always messing up. Just... I... I need some time alone. I can't talk to you right now. Eh... 
makes you feel better, Jackie. That's not why I thought you you sucked. wants food. Uh, I think I gave him a pizza last time, so do I have a casserole I can give him? Because he likes... Uh, he likes old-fashioned food. Meat pie. Blessed be the stars. An old-fashioned entree. A treat of ancestral beauty. It's so beautiful. Wow. Tea <laughs> time. Tea time, baby. But also, let's make more of those meat pots. to do quite yet, so we'll go explore. Yeah, same, Sabs. <laughs> Turns out he's less negligent and more mentally ill. Already got the one upstairs. time there isn't even like a bouncy that I could use to get higher. But I'm curious about what I could possibly have missed. Yep, I've got both of those already. I thought maybe there was something further to right, but there isn't. Hi, 
Jackie. Got something to say? Hey, Stella. We... we need to have a talk. I'm not doing good, Stella. Like, not at all. I know I act tough at all, but truth be told, I don't think I've ever been doing good. Oh, that's far too relatable. Tell a joke. Shit. Yeah. You know, you really do get on my nerves sometimes. Always so happy or caring, just sparkly. I don't know how you do it. I've never seen those people that uh, you care for. No, I've seen those people you care for. I know them because I've cared for them too. And yeah, sure, some of them are nice and all. But most of them, pardon my language, they're assholes. Nitpicky, demanding, rude. But you, everything seems to just light over you. Some old cuckoo yells at you because their pudding's the wrong color and you just... You just smile. Softly, gently, always. And then you magically fix the situation. You're always the first to arrive, the last to leave. And I've never heard you badmouthing the patient. As for me, I... I need help, Stella. Whenever I try to get better, better on my own, I just wind up sliding back in a dark place. And I'm so sick of being angry all the time. I think it's time I stop kidding myself. I'm not a caretaker. Can't even take care of myself. So, you know, I guess you have a new patient now. I'm sorry to be a burden like that. Not that I know any other way to live. So, now that the hard thing's been said, my room, it's a little bare, don't you think? I want a fresh start, but I'm not sure a naked jail cell is the way to go. When I think of something, I'll just ask you straight. No games. For the moment, though, did you get me, like, some posters or something? I can't stand the concrete walls anymore. I really need to cover them up. I feel like I'm getting cabin fever in there. I'm almost at the make a go for an out of mashed potato point right now. I feel like the quest being called Hang In There Skeleton is a reference to something. And I feel like what that something is, is like on the tip of my mind. Bronze sheet, iron ingot. Iron ingot's easy to make, unfortunately. I mean, the bronze sheet's also easy, it's just slow. Wait, was it brass or bronze? Either way, I need copyright it. I think it was brass. Bronze. Okay.
and let's beat this one. And let our hammer cool down some. That didn't make meat pies at all. I thought it was going to, but I was apparently a fool. will help Jackie a little bit. I thought it would help, but yeah, it really doesn't. I don't need to hang in there, whatever that means. And I certainly shouldn't be proud like a tiger. Are tigers even proud, like at all? Nah, I like a pride, certainly not the problem. I just, I'm, I'm selfish is what it is. I just think of myself. I act rashly and I wind up hurting people. Hurting a lot of people, actually, and hurting them bad. And then, and and then, even if I try to make it better, it's too late. This shit, Stella, it it sticks. When you try to brush it away, you just end up smearing it. You're just stuck with it, and there's nothing more to do. Oh, Jackie. Yeah, I don't think I can ever get over it. I really thought the posters would help. Turns out they just make me feel terrible. But it might be good. Maybe I deserve to feel terrible. What? No, don't make that face. I'm serious, you know. Okay, I've got another idea. I think I might need to focus on something else. You know, check out of Hotel Jackie, just for a while. I was thinking of a plan, but I'm pretty sure I'd just mm -hmm. kill it. How about something that can't be killed? Maybe like a little sand garden with rocks and stuff. It's kind of like meditation, I guess. Mm -hmm. Would you get me that? see what I need to make his rock garden. Oh, I just need to make some silk fabric. I've got everything else I need. And I've got plenty of silk. Well, silk. I'm not sure how much silk fiber I have. Uh, no, I've got plenty of silk fiber. I'm not sure how much silk thread I have. The answer is plenty. needed more than that.
Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. just make caramel or toffee or something. Which is fine. Amanda, I... Well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? Heck yeah, French fry. Oh, a stone garden. I'm kind of surprised, actually. I didn't think you'd go through with it. Kind of silly, isn't it? Anyway, let's see what we're working with here. Mm -hmm. I'm always serving myself, Trump. The sand is nice, it's got a cool color. And it's very fine, but still has some texture to it. And the stones, they're very pleasant. They've got a nice weight, very stone-like. Even the little wood rake is all pretty. It's all very soothing. My dad had a little sand garden in his office. Just like that, but much mm -hmm. smaller. I always wanted to play with it, but he didn't let me. Guess that's the real reason I asked you for one. Just to get back at him. But you know, he deserved it. The man helped. He was... Um... Uh, he was... He was okay. Shit. I'm doing it again. I'm lying for no goddamn reason. Mom and Pops were okay. They had their issues, sure. But I'm not messed up because of them. No, that one's on me. I don't know why I keep telling these tall tales. Like the one about my grandpa. Truth is, I barely knew him. I saw him once a year, and when I was old enough, he tried to teach me about bees. But I was just a dumb teenager, I didn't care, and then he died. Now I'm a dumb adult who knows jack shit about bees. Hmm. Guess I want to believe that my childhood messed me up. Otherwise, I have, I have to own up to my own shitty mm -hmm. behavior. Yeah, maybe that's just who I am. Shitty and broken. Heh, <laughs> that'd be fitting. Well, gosh darn, now I really have a lot of sympathy for it. Oh, huh, yeah. Thanks for the garden, Stella. I'll, uh, see ya. Yes, I would like some honey. I harvested some honey. Take it. Thank you. Uh... I'm not gonna feed him that. How about some french fried? Ooh, that smells nice. You know, I've been trying to eat better recently. Stay away from junk food. Or probably shouldn't. But strict diets never work, you know. The trick is to indulge once in a while. And I've been good. Real good. So I'll have this fried food. Thanks a lot, Stella. Lollipop? Oh, hell yes. Sorry, honey and milk? That sounds delightful. Oh, that just made toffee. Egg. Oh, that's just gonna be like sugar and egg, probably. I need carrots? That's a thing, right? Uh, 
Okay, so I don't have another upgrade quest. So maybe I can... You know what? I don't want to go to those mines. They're mean and poopy. What have I not found at this pier? Still, I have something else to ask you. And I think this might be the one thing I'm missing. You know how I never went to school? Well, I mean, I did, but I dropped out of high school. So I figured, maybe the problem is that I'm not smart enough. I've got all this energy, but I don't know what to do with it because I was never taught. That's an easy problem to solve. I just need to get smarter. And the best way to do that is with books. I didn't care for them when I was a teenager. Didn't have the patience. But now that I'm a serious adult, I'm sure I can make it up super easy. Did you get some for me? Letting go for dummies. Uh, rose gold sheet. Yes, I do want some honey. Thank you. I was 100% correct that that would make... I mean, I called them honeyed carrots, but it's the same thing. Yeah, that gets hot fast, so just gotta do tippy taps. Do 10 hits at a time, just to keep safe. Bookshelf. Yeah, sure takes me back. Maybe I'd have turned out different if I'd stayed in school. When I dropped out, my parents kicked me out of the house. They... Shit. No, they didn't kick me out. Not right away, anyway. They just spent the next couple of years... I just spent the next couple of years freeloading. I don't even remember what I did with all my time. Nothing, probably. They were pretty nice about it. But after a while, we started arguing. Like, a lot. And over nothing. And then I moved out. I was just too proud, and we pretty much stopped talking. So I guess they didn't kick me out at all. Mm -hmm. You know the rest of the story. I needed a job, and the hospital was so understaffed that they just that they hired just anybody. What a shit decision that was. Eh, better get into these books. Thanks, Stella. Okay, what did I miss on this island? Because there's something, and I don't know what it is.
Okay, I, I got that. Okay, and I can't go inside. <gasps> Is there stuff to the right that I didn't check? That seems possible. Which I might be only be able to get from higher up. <gasps> yes, there was something. I figured it out. I bet it's going to be underwhelming. Off and... Think so have done it. I was right, it was disappointing. Mm -hmm. I swam here. I've been training for weeks and weeks. Can you mm -hmm. believe it? I made it here all by myself. Just me in the water. They told me I could it couldn't be mm -hmm. done. Well, who's laughing now? Me! I hope they find a neat nickname oh. for me in the paper. Something like... Sea Legs Michael. Fishman Mikey. Oh. Mike Phil. I'm no good. I'll let them make it up. Journalists have some great ideas sometimes. I hope they take a good oh. picture of me. One where you can really see my muscles. I should probably be flexing. Oh, I can't wait. Jackie, my dude. I'm... I'm in a bad way, Stella. I don't know how you can stand the sight of me. Can't even stand myself. The books, I hate them. They're just a load of apologetic bullshit. They all say the same thing. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Ask for forgiveness. There's always time to be better. Do you think I can get better? Do you think I deserve forgiveness? Yes. Yes, if you are trying to improve, if you are trying to make up for the things you did wrong, of course you deserve forgiveness. And the thing is, I know you're trying to get better. So, yes, of course you deserve forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Little doe-eyed Stella. You're smart, but you're an idiot. People don't change. Know why? All these books... They say you can change by acting different. They all look forward into the future. But the future do doesn't exist. It's just a big whole bunch of nothing. A bag of lies we tell ourselves so that we can be happy. In comic books, the heroes forgive the villain and then he joins their team and everything's good forever. Eh, it's not really comic books. It's more Dragon Ball Z, but sure. We conveniently forget that they've raised the whole city. They're genocidal maniacs, but it's okay. Because forgiveness... Real life ain't like that. People, they're made up of all the things they've done. Good or bad doesn't matter. Same for everybody. And you can't ever change your past, no matter how much you hate it. You just gotta own up to it. And what if you can't? Nothing, that's why. Listen, Stella, I'm sick of it. I give up. It was a fun ride. 
Well, actually, it was shit. Just, just give me a holler when we get to the mm -hmm. end. I'll get out of everyone's way. Jackie, that is a depressing way to ask me that. But how can I say no? Especially, frankly, when you deserve it. You're in pain and deserve not to be. But you are wrong. People can change, and that includes you. It doesn't erase the But it can make for a better future. Me too, Tron. He was the true highlight of this game. Hey Stella, it's time, huh? I cleaned up a bit. Might as well leave the place tidy. Oh. I found this old suitcase, so I packed my stuff. But I guess I don't need it anymore. Kinda feel silly. Well, I'll just leave it here. Ready to do this? Oh. Okay, sure. I'll be in the tender. I understand that he's done. He feels too much pain. And he wants that to... But he is wrong. He's wrong about forgiveness. He's wrong about changing. Thank you for taking care of me. You know, on the boat. I know I didn't deserve it. Maybe that's the difference between you and me. You don't care about all that. You don't judge. I don't want to sound mean, but you're simple like that. You see someone who needs help, and you help them. No questions asked. No payment expected. That's just how you are. And you didn't try and stop me when I said I wanted to leave. Thanks for respecting that. Oh. 
remember when I started working at the hospital. People kept telling me how great and noble I was for doing it. I was happy to take the compliment. I felt proud. And I even started to believe it. You know, I worked in that hospital for 15 years. I'm not trying to make any excuses, but... Never seen my bosses, not once. Just an endless parade of supervisors and managers. And half a box of donuts for the night staff on New Year's Eve. There was a book. You know, in the books you gave me. It was about, uh, myths and stuff. Like, old-ass stories. One of the book's chapters was about the afterlife. Things that happen after people die. In one of the stories, there was a river. And if you drank from it, you'd forget everything from your life. Just like, blank slate. Poof, like that. Ain't that crazy? And then there was this other place with the weird name. Like, Shoal? Something like that. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like hell, except not really. No fire and no pitchforks. That's where dead folks go. And not just the bad ones, everybody. Mm. And in the Shoal, I remember that everybody's equal. I think a reference to Sheol. The, um, the Hebrew afterlife. Uh, Pre-exile when things get kind of weird. And there's no comfort. Doesn't mean it's uncomfortable. There's just nothing. Mm. Nothing good and nothing bad. And you're shielded from light and from judgment. The dead go there to be forgotten by the living. Mm. But they also forget and then turn to dust. Until there's nothing left. Just dust and forgetfulness everywhere and forever. Mm. Can you imagine that, Stella? Dust and forgetfulness. What a thought. You grew on me, Jackie. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're there. I, uh, just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, just bring it in. See you on the other side, Stellars. Or not. I'm sorry, a new Lutus literary review? Oh. I literally can't check the mail here. Okay. I just need to find out. I just need to find out what the new Lutus literary review, review is. Emlo Stitch. Thank you, dear reader. You are among a rare breed of adventure, one of the only to ever brave the seas and recover the lost bounties of Crow's End Inc. As a token of your dedication, here is a lifetime membership to the famed Master Adventurers Guild. We welcome you with open arms. Thank you for your unflinching support.
Okay, so it wasn't a new quest. It was just the end of that quest. Getting the card that Buck had promised. A crossed out letter from Jackie. I know I hurt you. I've been thinking. I feel terrible. I hope you can forgive me. I hope you can forget. I'm sorry. A torn letter from Jackie. Dear Daria, I'm currently reading a book to deal with my anger issue. It says that the first step to getting better is to ask forgiveness from the people you hurt. I know it sounds stupid, but could you? The letter is torn from you. And a crumpled letter from Jackie. Hey Daria, what's up? I've heard you've been doing better since Stella has taken over from ah, for me. I'm happy to hear it. I've... The rest of the letter is blank. I assumed these were to me, but they're not. These were letters he wrote before he gave up. Poor Jackie. Look, I... I have something to tell you. Now that there are only the two of us in here, you might have guessed already, but... Yeah, I can't really go through with the Abaddon. It's really hard to explain. My guess would be that I've already been through it? In a weird, strange way? See what I mean? Sorry to break it to you, but I don't think there is more to it. You, me, us, this world. Listen, I really don't want to push you towards it. Crack no. But you know, I think you... Stitch, you don't need to apologize for being just as cute as me and chat. Because you're part of chat. You're allowed to be exactly as cute as chat because you're a member of chat. I think you should give accepting your fate a try. Really not one to give you a lesson, far from it. Funny thing, I don't even know if I myself accepted it. My presence here might give us a clue. That being said, if you stay, I'll try to entertain you to the best of my abilities. There's not much I can do, you know. As if... As if I was somewhat limited. As if an invisible barrier existed in me, too. I kind of feel it, you know? Sorry, Commander. I'm really sorry. Yeah. That's the game's way of telling you. Don't wait for Buck. Buck's story is fit. As much as it can be. And with that, we return to the Everdor one final time. Just gonna do one last tour of the boat. Make sure everything is in its best possible state at the end. I thought it was just Daria. It's all of them? Are they all here at the end? They are. This has probably been true the whole way through. Hmm. Alice, hmm. I want true love. You were always the best of us. <laughs> and Stanley, who deserved so much better. Hmm. And Bruce and Mickey, who I really, really grew to like. And wonderful Astrid. 
and cheating no good Giovanni who who Astrid still loved. And Elena, who I think more than anything just didn't know how to express any kind of love. And Jackie. Who may not have been good to me, except at the very end. And definitely wasn't good to Daria. But did try to be better. Hello. Trashers once again sang to us a simple message. Are you ready for a little side adventure? This one involves the wandering merchant Francis. He carries cargo and stories and doesn't shy away from giving errands to adventuring rovers. To run an errand for him. I'll explain it all. No. No, I think you're right. I think I am done. And the saddest thing is... <gasps> no! I thought a tool wasn't there. I thought a tool wasn't there. I just missed him. A tool. Who went through the ever door on his own. And didn't even give us a chance to say goodbye properly. And finally... Dear Daria. From this point onward, there is no turning back. Do you want to continue? I do. Don't worry, Stitch, I'll never send Taint away. Switch off sound commands just because this is the wrong time for them. having helped so many to have their own deaths with dignity. Stella finally has to face her own death. The one death that I think she never wanted to accept.
Stella and Daffodil. Flowing through the seas of time Memories that were left behind Bring us closer to the end of this journey Where we grew as friends Take me through the mist and storms In waters that are still steps one takes to move on to a place a world on sea to us all but it's okay we'll be together my friend Was such an incredible ending. And I genuinely think the best thing about it is that it simply ends. Once Stella passes through the ever door, that's it. I think there's a very powerful message there in just accepting what is. Um, I was going to, I, I had plans for doing something else if stream was a bit short. Um, but the fact is at this point, I think, I think this is a good place to leave it. This was absolutely wonderful. Uh, this has become one of my favorite games. From start to finish, it is a beautiful experience. Um, the the storytelling is really exceptional, and I feel like. I feel like the emotionality of it is is really well handled. It carries through well. Um, yeah. And it, it doesn't hurt that it's just visually stunning. The audio is beautiful. And with that, we have reached the end. Of Spiritfarer.
a game that I have loved, but that I feel ends well enough that I don't even feel bad about finishing it. Which, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes, uh, sometimes when you finish something, you, you feel something's been lost. But no, I feel like this delivers on all of its promises. So yeah, let us take a look at who's live that we can raid while we dry up our tears. Why do you feel bad, Stitch? I didn't forget you. I couldn't forget you. I never have. Um, so there are a couple of people we can raid. Um, we can uh, we can raid Gam, who's playing Elden Ring. Uh, or we can raid Zade who's playing The Binding of Isaac. Uh, any preference, or is there somebody else you would prefer? Because if, uh, if you don't have a preference, I think I'm actually going to raid... I think I'm going to raid Gan this evening. Um... And I think, I want to check something. Yeah. So since Gan does have it, I think our raid message should be time to cry. Because frankly, it is the appropriate raid message. Uh, thank you all so very much for joining me. Um, this game is wonderful. This was a wonderful finale to it. Uh, I will be live again on Friday at 5.30 Eastern Time, where rather than something sad and heartbreaking, I'm going to be breaking my own heart by practicing more Bella and Wonderworld with a speedrun. Um, and yes, I hope you all have a wonderful evening or whatever time zone you're in. Good night, Greg. Um, I hope to see you all around in future streams. Yeah, I hope you have a good one. And yeah, this, this game really, really affected me. Yeah, thank you all, and I will see you around. Yeah. And one hit. God dang it. God dang it, Bobby, Bobby. How many times have I told? Actually, you know what? I might pop a remembrance and just level up in my health. I might just pop all. Don't of them. rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Okay.